putting down composite decking. I'm gonna use this thing. I haven't used it before. I've looked at it. It doesn't look too difficult. Camo Marksman Pro. I'm not exactly sure how you set the depth. Universal, or if we need to change it. Okay. Apparently, you don't adjust that. So it goes like that. Yeah, that's a little loosey goosey. Slide that forward. Pull the trigger. Apparently, that's a little too much. Oh, this thing's gonna be fun to deal with. Ah. Proprietary screws. They're goofy little things. They got no point on them. I don't know. Let's see. I guess you just load it into the. I'm not so sure that that worked properly. First few are in. Ah, oh, that's right in the. That's right in the shade. I don't know if you can see that. It's all bumped up. I have to try to carve that off with a knife or something. But all right, this second one's going in better. But you can still see where it leaves a bump. I don't like that. I got to cut that off, or else it leaves a gigantic gap. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. That one is definitely better. This tool specifically says it is not load bearing, but feel like it doesn't stay in place if I'm not leaned on it. Okay, well I got the deck done using this thing. Uh, it works pretty well to hide the screws so you don't have screws in the field of the deck because they're, they're hidden on the sides. The one complaint I have with it is that it seems to bulge out the composite sometimes where the screw goes in. I don't know if that's a flaw in the composite um, or maybe it's a flaw in the way I use the tool, I'm not sure. But I had to take a knife and cut that because this gauge is a 3 16 gap between each board, and if it pushed up against that bulge, it, it was pushing that to 5 16 or bigger, and it didn't look right. So I would have to cut those off every time, and it was probably 50% of the screws that went in. So, I mean, does it work? Yeah. You know, for the $40 or whatever, it's nice to not have screws actually, you know, down through the top, which, would I recommend it? Yeah, it works pretty well. It's a little wonky to get used to and the adjustments on it and stuff to make sure it holds tight, but it worked pretty well. I'd give it a give it a thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys next time.